Hello guys. Well, welcome back to a video. I'm uh, at a castle as you can see. We'll uh, go over that a bit later. It's just behind me there. I've just dropped my bag down. Just uh, looking what the easiest point of access is to get in the castle grounds. It's a stealthy one this. As you can see behind me here, we've got a fishing lake and just literally on the other side of the castle there, there's a golf course and there's a tee off right by it <laughs> so uh, yeah you have to be a little bit sneaky a little bit stealthy I found this place a year ago actually a year ago to the month and um, I was going to come back last summer and do a camp here but I uh, just never got around to it and I thought because the clocks changed yesterday it's a good time to come because uh, there probably won't be as many golfers around that's my logical thinking anyway. <laughs> so yeah, let's have a little look about here. I'm trying to find my way down there. I thought this was the way, but not. It's quite overgrown here. So I think there's a tunnel around the corner. I'm gonna go check that out. Bit of a hill to climb up to get in here. <laughs> it is the Surrey Hills after all. Not too far from an airport as well, so there's a lot of uh, airplanes going over. Now I'm on the lake side of the castle, just one well, derelict wall between us and obviously the hillside. Um, there's less activity there than there is over on the golf course where they're teeing off just over there. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't think there's anyone fishing right now, which is quite cool. Um, I'm in the spot I wanted to be in, it's flattish, a bit lumpy, <laughs> the only thing is having this eerie tunnel behind me, <laughs> it goes deeper than I just came as well and it looks like it's been used for storage for pipes and stuff for doing the fields and that, but uh, yeah it's going to be creepy later. <laughs> it is a wonderful building though, I'll tell you some more about it in a bit, but uh, yeah I'm just going to get myself a little bit sorted. It's only a short tunnel, but uh, definitely refuge if the weather gets bad because I've only got a bivy bag. <laughs> it's not supposed to just get very cold. It's been very cold the last couple of days. But them steps to get down here, perilous, very slippery, muddy, horrible little things. <laughs> but this is cool, other than it being used for storage. But uh, no graffiti or anything, which is nice. I 
actually just bumped into an older couple that were having a look at the castle from outside the uh, fence. And they braved coming in. <laughs> but uh, it's to be expected, we're not in the middle of nowhere, isolated here, surrounded by everything. <laughs> but it's, uh, I think, about half five now. So I think we've got nearly two hours of daylight left, which is uh, going to be nice. And I'm not setting up any bivvy or anything until after dark because there's just too much activity around here especially until the golfers stop anyway I think that closes last tee off like half six I don't know how far around this tee here is this hole that's right next to us here just have to keep an eye on it it's getting chilly though it's been a lovely sunny day but uh, last night was freezing Well, I may as well just have a cuppa. No one seems that bothered I'm here. <laughs> They're just concentrating on their golf. Um, the only other people I've seen are that couple who are having a look around. But uh, yeah, it's weird this. <laughs> kind of hiding in plain sight. No one really looks when you're taking photos of uh, a castle. So uh, yeah, I'll carry on as I am until it gets darker. Except for having a cup of tea. I think I saw a um, bat box on a tree just over there. It'd be pretty cool to see some bats tonight flying around the towers here. As you can probably see, this is a medieval castle, but um, I think a lot of it's been torn down and rebuilt and upgraded and restored over the hundreds of years. You can see the brickwork. I think in the 1700s they did a lot of work. So you can see that juxtaposition. And it wasn't until the 1800s that it got tore down. I always wonder why they do it like this and leave some of it. chilly. I could put my jacket and hat on I guess. <laughs> As you can probably see I'm using a Trangia stove with my um, bush box. It's the LF, the normal sized one, not the big one. And that's what I'll be doing all my cooking and brews and everything on this evening. It's weird you've probably heard in some of the shots the golf balls being hit like the <laughs> every now and again. I've not heard one in a few minutes actually. Maybe they're slowing down.
so while I'm here just waiting for the sun to go down it is beautiful there's a lot of squirrels and birds and things rabbits from the uh, golf course so I think it's gonna be lots of rustling tonight <laughs> but um yeah it's, it's a beautiful spot but uh while I'm waiting for that sun to go down I thought I'd explain that uh, one of the reasons I came here today is because it's just been raining non-stop two weeks I guess pretty much so I've not really made a start on the cabin shelter build so keep your eyes peeled for that I'm hoping to start very soon <laughs> um, it's just a lot of materials to move in the woods um, and it's very muddy down there at the moment so hopefully I'll get started on that soon just had some golfers go past I'm hoping they're the last ones and uh, I think I'm gonna get a lovely sunset and a good view of it too Oh, and once it gets dark, I'll tell you about the ghosts here. I was looking at these rather impressive tooling marks on all of the big blocks from the building of the uh, castle, and uh, I noticed a few bits of graffiti, some quite old, a lot of them from the 70s and that, and then the one behind me here is from 1918. Now, I think that's the oldest one that I've seen so far. I saw one that said 18 something, but it looked like it had been changed. The sun has set, all the birds are roosting, lots of rustling and little nests inside the walls and stuff. Hopefully as it goes into twilight I'll see some bats, that'd be nice. No roof means <laughs> I can see quite well. I would have been in the um, dungeon or cellar here, but um, it's not got a roof like it has there because it would have had wooden supports so you can see where they go. I've actually put my changer in one. Birds are coming quite close. That's a robin. And he's got a feather in his mouth. <laughs> if I turn the camera around, he'll just fly away. The only thing that's got me worried is that um, up by the fence on the golf course side is a gate. I didn't notice it before. Um, I could use that rather than climbing in. But um, it is open, so I'm wondering if there's some kind of night watchman or something uh, that might lock it up. I don't know if it's worth them doing that, so hopefully not. And I'll have to keep the uh, lights to a minimum. I'm going to try and film this robin. Nope, gone. <laughs> Well, I've just been uh, caught by some dogs. <laughs> the guy come over, asked me what I was doing. Just said photography, which is true. So, we'll see. They know I'm here, or well, someone does. <laughs> Maybe they're just walking the dogs past, but we'll see. Okay, it's been about 45 minutes, I'm going to get some food on, it's pretty hard to film, but uh, this uh, pasta meal, I'm going to put in some water and put on the boil, but I'll just be filming tiny little bits from now. Okay, so I'm set up here in the dungeon. <laughs> I've not heard anything for a little while. But um, the light's more concealed in here. So I'm not setting up camp just yet. <laughs> um, 
there's a couple of ghosts in this castle. One of them being a big black dog that roams around. I've not seen him yet. And the other is the wandering man. Apparently the wandering man was killed by the lord of the manor and um, it turned out to be his son and he's been wandering, feeling guilty ever since. I think when I set up camp I'm just going to get straight in the bivvy. That might diffuse the light a little bit. Oh, that's bright. <laughs> hey, it's um, about three, half three in the morning. Uh, sorry I didn't get much footage. I was just a bit worried about having the light on really, so I've done most things, no light whatsoever. Um, but yeah, I'm reasonably sure no one's going to see me now. I uh, woke up for a pee and um, yeah, I'm just going to try and get another couple of hours sleep. Well, it's it light a bit later now, so yeah. And uh, I'll see you guys in the morning. Oh god. <laughs> it's about five or just past now. I'm not sleeping well at all. And spits and spats. I guess it's that knowledge of knowing someone knows where you are or suspects plus there's a lot of rustling and uh, it ain't squirrels <laughs> so we've got rats in the dungeon yeah so I'm just as you can see inside the bivvy it's cold I don't want to get out at the moment um, probably another hour or so till it starts to get light I don't think sunrise is till 7ish oh, so I'm just gonna try and chill out I guess <laughs> As you can probably hear, it's raining a little bit. The boots are outside. <laughs> it's not that hard. But, I mean, it's coming up to six, still dark, but uh, I might get up anyway. Better get this sleeping bag away, it's down, I don't want it to get too wet. Right, well the rain is just easing off and as you can see it's starting to get light. Um, what I might do is just wander down to the uh, fishing lake just below the castle there before it turns into caddy shack up here. <laughs> Have some breakfast down there.
moist there. <laughs> well, I've come down to the lake for breakfast. I have to be a bit discreet. And um, I've got a breakfast burrito. Now, I don't trust this packaging because I want to kind of boil it before I just fry it off at the end, if I can be bothered. So I'm going to put in this double zip lock bag and then stick it in the cup. Oh, an interesting evening and night. I suppose the night wasn't that interesting, but the evening was. Playing cat and mouse, or just mouse, being low profile. Interesting place though, oh no. It's starting to rain again, just as I pull my hood down. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was nice to, when I use the bivvy bag, I always have like a crack open at the top, and I could just look out and just about see the towers above me. And if you're going to ask why didn't I go in the dungeon, it just was very uneven ground in there. Um, then plastic tubes, I don't know if it's the temperature change, were creaking. And um, yeah, it looked very ratty in there. Well, it's hopefully done. I say done, it just needs warming up really. I'm getting impatient though. <laughs> Sat here in the drizzle. Seems to have slowed down a little bit. All the plastic's warm anyway. Can't even remember what's in this. I know it's a breakfast burrito. Sausage and beans. <laughs> mm. Oh, it's good though. I really just can't be bothered to do a cuppa. This mess is taking ages to heat up. Mm. Just barely warm enough. Okay, I lied. Warm my cockles. I think I'm a bit wet. Getting cold again. It's um, about a half a mile walk back to the truck. Hopefully it's still there. <laughs> Not too bad. Well, that's me all done. Make my way back to the trunk and back home. Oh God, it's very boggy down here. <laughs> uh, apologies for the lack of footage last night, but uh, it needs must, I guess. Hang on, to get off the path a bit here. Oh dear, I'm sinking. Should've gone back the way I came. <laughs> yeah, but thank you guys for watching, and uh, hopefully I'll see you in the woods for the next one. Goodbye for now.